Now, at Home Design this morning, Hamish is here to distract us from the cold weather as we get to look at what's on trend for spring. I know. Well, it is that time of year, really, isn't it? And uh, planning's a good idea. We're What's moving it? into the springtime. It's cold and miserable, so let's, you know, look Thanks. at some colours that are going to be inspiration. No, it's nice. It's nice to look forward to spring, isn't it? You know? It is. Now, unfortunately, this week I don't have mountains of treasure to show you. Right. Uh, nothing falling from the ceiling. Uh, but oh. I do have uh, photographs on oh, telly. Oh, good. OK, cool. So this right, is going to okay. take us through it, is So it? what's on That's trend, right. then? OK, well, we're going to kick off with neutrals, first of all. So one of the things we're seeing now is um, our traditional whites, which have typically been a little bit colder in their tones, mm -hmm. um, are going to be starting to warm up. And so what do you mean by that? OK, so what we mean is colours like um, camel sort of colours are going to come through. So you can see we've got more of a slightly beigey cream undertone. Right. Right. neutral. Because some of the whites could have been a bit sharp, I guess. Yeah, I mean, there's always going to be room for that sharper white, but this is it. And funnily enough, I was asked by a client three days ago, Hamish, I would like neutral, but warm neutral, please. Oh. Now, something else we've got a lot of coming through, and uh, brace yourself, Mike. Yes. Um, blushed pink. Which <laughs> no is, way. It was Pantone colour 2016. Right. Uh, and we're seeing it filter through. We're all seeing it in clothing and bits yeah. and pieces. Uh, not mine, clearly, but uh, nonetheless. There you go. There's the use of blush pink. Really nicely offset with um, the pale mint green ceiling. I like it. It's that's very, very retro. retro. Yes. Yeah, it's kind of retro. You like that? Oh, well, no, I, I don't like you, it. That's not you, Mike. <laughs> no, Mike's not a like bit it. more of the sterile white. Yeah, I, I am actually. Mike doesn't have kids. <laughs> <laughs> I want about things that don't show up in your dirt. <laughs> okay, well then maybe, we, for me. maybe we can move on then for you guys to green. Okay. okay. Now green is fantastic. It is my personal favourite colour, and green is the Pantone colour of 2017. Oh, wow. That looks great. I don't quite know who picks them, but hey, I it roll with though. it. It's good though. Okay, so there's your green. So. Those, okay, you've had the brighter greens, we had the tropical greens, we're now moving more into the tealy sorts of greens. Okay, so they're coming through with a bit more blue in them. Nice, see, I like that. And there we go, we go to even more of a pastel sort of tone of green. And as you can see, they're being brought back in now with more earthy tones with the beiges. Yeah, that looks really good. You know, it's bad luck they'd have a green boat. Is it? Apparently. Well, it's, well, is that in case it rolls over and they can't spot you from the air? Well, maybe it is, yeah. It's probably very good logic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Logical. Clearly not a sailor. <laughs> okay, moving on, something more nautical. We'll have blues. Now, what's really interesting with colours is um, there's no real feminine and masculine to them, but we've moved away a bit from the blacks. Mm. We're using things like deeper navy blues like this. You can see it yeah. does the same thing that the blacks do, but it allows you to sort of have some depth without going too dark. And yeah, that so comes through in clothes me. as well. Yeah. Like the, the navy is like the, quite a big thing at the moment. Th that's exactly right. So there's your sort of mid-blues up on screen now. Um, the more steely. And this is why it sort of crosses all demographics. We then move into our pastel and soft blues. So there's something for everyone. So it, if something simply says grey blues, still very popular. If someone says to you, for example, I like blue, well, that's a pretty open-ended sort of statement yeah. because you might like dark blue, I might like light blue. Mm. So it's about finding what sits in between. When it comes to choosing colour for your house, can you get it right and wrong? Like, can you add value by getting you the can. right colour? Thank you for reminding me, Mike. I have a fact in front of me. Oh, great. <clears throat> <laughs> An American 2017 paint colour analysis study by Zwillo, mm-hmm, discovered that homes with blue bathrooms are generally sold for $5,400 more than expected. Cool, so a blue go. bathroom is a good thing? Prove it. OK, cool. Yeah. Right. Have you got anything dark for me? I do. I've got something for you, Mike. Yes. We've got dark grey. Oh, I could wear we go. Oh, that's there manly. you go. What do you think? So th I, this I is like moving that. into our dark blue greys, our dark green greys. Once again, this is the revitalisation of the black. We don't do the black, we do this. You can see it still gives you all the depth, but it still has a certain lightness to it. Yeah, no, that is really appealing. I quite like that. My only problem with those sort of colours, does it make it like feel a little bit Closed gloomy in. when, there's, um, when your yeah. lights aren't on? We've got all your lamps and, on, and, beautiful. And, and this, is, this is the thing. Um, people either like light and bright, or they like closed in and snug. Yeah. I quite like the closed and snug feeling, so I like a grey bedroom because it's a place I go to hibernate and sit away, mm -hmm. uh, whereas, you know, I probably wouldn't be doing my living area in a dark sort of grey yeah. tone. I think um, that doesn't really happen. We've got time for one more? We do. We're going to do pops of colour. Now, Mike likes his colour. I we do, go. yes. Oranges, oh, tangerines. Love that. You know, that sort of colour. So you see we're not using the strong, bold reds. We are moving away to the orangey reds, that sort of thing. Yellows. Now, you don't have to use these colours across all the walls. We've got a picture coming up on the screen of a yellow floor. OK. It's thinking outside the box. Oh, Most wow. people in New Zealand would shoot you oh. if you painted your timber floor oh, yellow. Oh, that looks I awful. Like yeah, it. I like it. It's, it's, do you? It, yeah. 
Everything's not for everyone, no, you see. Right. Um, but there you go. You can bring your yellow in or the pop of colour in your neutral room, Mike, with your white, 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 and then you could have it perhaps as a um, table that you've repurposed. Fantastic. Nice spring colour. Something yep. to look forward to. Yeah. Thank you for putting us in the loop. Always a pleasure. Never a chore. Yeah, that's right. Thank you so much, Hamish. You have a great week. Thanks for that fact, yeah, too. Yeah, thank you very much. I knew I had something there for you. <laughs> OK, if you get inspired, you can get the look at razine.co.nz.